here in Nashville, we had a little group of people all getting together, uh, sitting and counting down the blocks. It was almost like a New Year's Eve ball drop. We were all sitting there. And then when we, when the merge happened, we said, oh, wow, this is incredible. And the live stream was really fun to watch as well. So awesome. Got it. Come Yay. on now. Come on now. Let's go. And that was Preston Van Loon, one of Ethereum core developers and co-founder of Prismatic Labs, one of the few teams that were working on the merge, Ethereum's transition from the proof-of-work consensus mechanism to a more energy-efficient proof of stake. Um, the merge has been anticipated for years and Preston was directly involved in making sure this critical transition went successfully. How much sleep did you get this past week and particularly yesterday, today? <laughs> Not much. Um, we've been really excited for, for, for this moment. And last night, especially, we're US based. And, and um, the, when the merge happened, it was almost 2 a.m. where we were. So we were up late. And then, then we couldn't sleep because it, it had merged and we almost couldn't believe it. So we stayed up uh, as late as we could, probably to about 4 30. Uh, then went to sleep for, I'd, I'd say it was more taking a nap. And then we woke up, like checking our phones, like, did this really happen? Is this still really going? as well as we thought it would. Um, but it, in the coming weeks, we can rest a little bit, uh, kind of enjoy the, the fruits of the labor and, and uh, really kind of celebrate that moment. We'll take a little break for, for a week or two, not too long, kind of make sure things are going monitoring well. Uh, and then it's back to work, right? The, the, the next big missions are uh, with the Shanghai upgrade is the, what we're calling it. And that includes things like having a, uh, withdrawals enabled and a few other exciting efforts. And then in the medium term, we're looking at, you know, bringing uh, some scalability throughput, uh, particularly through uh, EIP 4844, uh, things like sharding, uh, dang sharding, you know, having more data availability for layer two scaling. Those are kind of the big pushes for the next efforts of, uh, of Ethereum. So we still have a lot of work to do. The positive impacts to come with switching to proof of stake. We have such an energy reduction that uh, um, it's hard to look away from those benefits. And I think that other blockchains may be uh, pressured into considering such options because it comes with energy efficiency. It comes with improved decentralization. Um, just has a lot of really great benefits. So for Ethereum, it makes it uh, uh, now sort of a green blockchain, right? They're not, uh, don't have such an environmental uh, black mark there. So um, I'm excited for the path forward. I, I think this unlocks the next level of Ethereum to help reach a global scale and actually to become that uh, global settlement layer that it aims to be.